Hi everybody, this is Melissa Shea and I'm joined today with Richard Narby and this is Making of the Deal. So Rich, I was going to talk to our audience a little bit about how the beginning part of the deal was. We talked about Lisa and the distressed seller right. and then we met with Kevin who actually bought the property and what happened was he didn't have funding so you were in the Jumpstart program, right? That's right. How did you feel about the opportunity to invest in notes? What did you think about it? Well, I mean, I thought it was extremely exciting to be able to get a high rate of return and to actually have property involved in the whole process. So it felt more secure than just the stock market or something like that. And the rate of return was high and it was a lot to learn and I was very excited. So it was interesting around the time that this all happened because we couldn't get funding because COVID hit, right? Right. So I think it was pretty extraordinary that people just pulled together during that time, right? And that's a whole part of the Long Island Maria community, right? And so what was the experience of when you found out um, Kevin was working on the house and what were your thoughts about how he did with his work and stuff? First of all, I thought it was really cool to work with somebody that I had just met at this course and he seemed like a really nice guy and I liked to be using money in a way that was actually helping him to achieve his goals too while I was achieving mine, so that was exciting. When I saw the house at first, it was kind of a shock that it needed so much work um, and I was hoping that he had what it took to do it, but I had a lot of confidence in you as the uh, joint venture person that you were going to make sure that it came out great no matter what, especially after taking the course with you. I was really excited as the progress went on with the property, seeing how well he was doing, and when I saw the finished product, I was pretty shocked actually that he did such a nice job. Yeah. And, um, you know, he had a bathroom that, like, you would have just love to buy this house just for the bathroom so it was a it was a good uh, really good experience and seeing the whole process yeah when we had the interview with Kevin um, I was trying to help the audience understand how bad the house was you know there was tarps on the roof mm. there was mold everywhere he did a lot of sweat equity and I, I was very impressed how his end product he went and did sod work he did yeah. landscaping that was really powerful and one of the suggestions was when it came time for him to list the house I thought it was how nice it would be if Rich could be his selling agent being that you were the one who helped him get a start to his goals and Rich had just gotten his license and I have to say you did extraordinary on listing the property and getting it sold so what was that like for you becoming a new agent? Well that was really exciting first of all just learning the whole process and having a ready-made listing certainly helped, but there's so much to learn, you know, just paperwork and how to put things on the internet and MLS and all of that, and then running a um, open house, all the things that that required with COVID and paperwork, and I hired somebody to come in and, you know, help people fill out the paperwork while I showed people around the house, and then just learning from Melissa actually how to promote the house's good features. In other right. words, you know, you could always put a bathroom here, and these are real wood floors, and pointing out the, the school districts and all things that maybe I might not have thought of on my own. It was very exciting, and we did two days of open house, and the second day we already had an offer on the house. How many offers did you get all together? Uh, well, we got three offers in writing. We did have a few people calling afterwards that I think might have Put considered offers. putting offers also, but it had been kind of too far along for them at that point. Yeah, and this market's a multiple offer market. Right. One of the things is that Rich had just joined the new Exit Realty Every Day, and Exit has so many marketing features to oh, help, yeah. right? Ex what can you say about that? I mean, Exit is just amazing. They give you your own website. You can attach it to uh, the MLS. Even though you don't have listings of your own, you can have those on there. And they have so many educational programs that they were doing at the same time, like multiple ones. There were some done by the head of the franchise, Hector. There were some where they had nationwide paying for your continuing education. So you, I took all my continuing education courses during COVID pretty much. <laughs> I still have one or two fair housing or something to do, but 
you know, so many got done. I think exit's terrific as far as that goes. Yeah. And so you listed the price of the house for how much? We listed the price higher than my comps. We listed it for 350000 well, 349 900 which right. is essentially. I wasn't quite sure if that was great, but things seemed to be flying off the market. What we also did is we did the coming soon Mm -hmm. with Zillow while we still could do that at that time. There were a lot of people looking at the property and whatever, so I was confident that that price would definitely bear out. And ultimately, how much did you sell the property for? Well, the first offer I got was for three fifty-five. And that we did not wind up accepting because we got another offer for three sixty five. And we got no offers for three fifty. All of them were higher. It was pretty exciting. Yeah. So on his first deal, he was able to sell the house uh, fifteen thousand dollars more than the asking price. Did a great job marketing. I saw the pictures. I saw letting the neighbors know and uh, using the tools that Exit provides for you. And I think it's really cool that he was able to be a private lender. So kudos to you for the making of the deal because from the start, the distressed homeowner that got out of that short sale really benefited. Got her life back on her own. Uh, she moved down to Florida. Kevin was able to buy his first renovation house and he was able to do that with the skills he had just learned from the jumpstart program you were able to be a private lender which that's a nice little feature there right (laughs) helps you with uh, managing cash flow and he got to find a new career as a real estate agent so that was also good and got your first deal in the contract so that is the making of the deal and another benefit is the house that these new buyers will have right that's right So that's the next step of the deal, and um, we'll look forward to hearing from them as well. So I just wanted to say this is Making of the Deal with Melissa and Rich, and I hope you enjoyed.